Hi everyone, this is Ajay. In this video, we are going to uh, see register level programming uh, using Arduino. That is, uh, we know that Arduino uh, Uno has Atmega328 uh, controller uh, um, on the board. So we, we are going to use that uh, controller and use the data sheet and uh, write register level coding so that uh, we can uh, perform some operations. So that's what we are going to see here. So uh, let's get into Arduino. Uh, here you can see that we are going to use Arduino IDE for writing the same code but uh, usually Arduino IDE has a pre-built uh, that is built in uh, library functions which are being used for uh, writing uploading codes to Arduino different Arduino boards and now we have Arduino Uno in this uh, particular um, video we are going to discuss on Arduino Uno and also we have uh, we are going to discuss on register level programming and not uh, library functions. Uh, for that we'll have to use this uh, header file that is uh, avr uh, slash io dot h uh, to use any avr uh, controller here and then uh, we, are, we are going to use uh, delay dot h for using the uh, delay uh, library just like you can create it using even for loop um, and uh, now i'm trying to use uh, delay dot h which is already available in uh, Arduino library and then um, uh, this is like we are going to write um, a simple C code with the int main function where we are going to use ddrb equal to 0x20. Why am I using this 20 uh, is we can uh, we know that uh, this 20 is pin number uh, 5 that is from 0 to uh, from pin 0 to pin 7 port B. Uh, we are going to configure the direction of uh, uh, the pin that is uh, this is going to be the fifth pin. Uh, why is it for fifth pin? The reason is uh, on this uh, display you can see that port PB5 is uh, on our Arduino board. P pin number 13 is uh, connected to LED which is actually port B uh, pin number 5. So we are going to use PB5. Uh, that is the reason we have used 0x20 uh, hexadecimal value to configure that as an output. And that uh, we can see uh, one more uh, register that is port P register which is used to write the data to the port. And uh, that is actually con um, going to be written to the uh, interface to device. So let's see these two registers. Um, so I have a uh, Atmega328 data sheet where I have port B register in IO uh, multiplexing and uh, you can find DDR uh, using find and here uh, or you can directly go through the IO uh, uh, multiplexing here we have uh, detail index you can go through there. So we have port B data register where it says that when addressing IO uh, registers data space using LDNST instruction the provider offset must be used. So if you want to write anything you can um, write using this that is PB0 to PB7 we have the data so 8 bit data can be written. And uh, you, uh, here you can see we have DDRB which says that is port B data direction register. So uh, it is like when using IO specific uh, commands uh, in and out. So it is like if we make it one it becomes output. Uh, if the particular pin is uh, here if particular bit is written as zero it becomes input. So that is what is uh, this register. So we are using only port B because pin number 13 is uh, belongs to pin number 13 on Arduino board belongs to um, port B. Uh, now I have written a simple code here. Um, next uh, I am going to upload this code. I have connected um, Arduino board to the PC and here you can see it is connected to COM29 and now I am going to upload the code. Now you can see uh, the output is displayed here. LED is uh, uh, flashing for uh, 250 millisecond uh, with a 250 millisecond uh, on off time and on time. Uh, so next, what we are going to see is uh, we are going to see one more example that is UART. Um, we have um, a serial communication. So we are going to see another example that is UART. We have same header files and uh, delay function here and uh, here we have ubrr0l that is uh, to set the bot rate, uh, register, uh, bot rate we have to use this particular register and uh, we have ucr0b that is to uh, enable the transmit register and uh, even re re if you want to receive we can use, we, uh, we can use rxen0 so i'll show you that register now um, here we have uh, uart and uh, We'll go to the particular page. 
we, here we have UDR0 which is actually the buffer where we load the data uh, to be transmitted or received all uh, comes into this buffer it is an 8 bit uh, buffer and uh, it says a txrxb that is it is going to uh, receive the data it is going to be acting as a receiver transmit buffer and then we have uc uh, ucs r0a that is control register where we are going to use this is going to be the status registers uh, all going to be flag register to indicate whether transmission has occurred or a reception has occurred we can use this register and then we have um, um, another register that is uc uh, ucs r0b where we are going to uh, enable the transmit and receive if we enable this txen we, we can um, go for a transmission or uh, rxen is enabled then this particular bit is enabled we can also perform a reception and uh, uh, we are we have used uh, txen we are going to only transmit and check and then we have txb80 which says we are to in order to use uh, 8 bit uh, that is tx BA80 is the ninth bit data in character to be transmitted when operating with serial frames. So we have you have enabled both uh, the bits here. Uh, so next uh, we have set uh, TXEN and TXB80. Next uh, we are going to check whether the buffer is empty or not. Uh, like when we are going to transmit a data, we will uh, load the buffer with uh, the, uh, the particular string or the, uh, the character which we are going to send which is an 8 bit uh, character. Uh, so we have to see whether the buffer is empty or not so to check buffer uh, is empty or not we are going to use this particular uh, um, bit that is udre0 and we are checking whether it is uh, uh, 1 or 0 if it is uh, we can see here um, there is again we have uh, udre and uh, it says uh, writing to bit one enables interrupt on udre0 flag it is to check whether it is empty or not so Next, we have uh, UDR0, which uh, we discussed. It is actually the buffer where we are going to load the character. And uh, now, uh, this has been uh, uh, taken as a function, and we are passing the value that is uh, simply a text, uh, a simple uh, character that is uh, ASCII A. And again, we are calling the same function for a new line and adding a delay function that is actually uh, continuously performed using a while loop. So, let's upload this code and check the output. So now the code is uploaded. Let's open serial monitor. And I've set this baud rate to 9600. So we are getting text uh, uh, A here. So you can also send strings if you want and we will have to write uh, the function accordingly and the code accordingly. Uh, now uh, this is like when we set this baud rate value 103, this is actually the baud rate register and the lower uh, register and higher order register we have uh, UBRR0L and UBRR0H also so that can be seen here uh, again uh, we have uh, baud rate registers uh, which is actually here which says talks about baud rate here we have 1 megahertz 1.8 megahertz and we have 3 3.6 and 8 megahertz and in Arduino Uno, we know we have 16 megahertz. So the value for 9600 to be set is 102, uh, 103, which uh, uh, 103 sets in um, uh, lower order register. So we can add this value as 103, the decimal value or hexadecimal value. You can convert the equivalent hexadecimal value and also uh, load that in that particular register. So if you are using an 8 megahertz crystal, we'll have to go for 51 uh, for 9600 baud rate. So this is what uh, we have to do and um, based on that we decide this value here that is 103 uh, uh, three or, uh, or 51 uh, based on the um, controller like Arduino board which we use here on the, based on the controller to say that is Arduino Nano uses a different controller or if Arduino Atmega uses a different controller and um, accordingly we will have the um, uh, crystal oscillator uh, like 8 megahertz or 16 megahertz crystal based on the crystal oscillator this value is set. So, um, this is what I wanted to tell you in this video. We will meet in another video. Thank you. Thanks a lot.